I decided to write uh, In Bed with Wall Street now because we are living through a truly a seminal period in our nation's history. This is the most challenging economic period since the Great Depression. The truths that are revealed aren't pretty, but they're the truth. The American public is still badly uh, looking for truth and transparency. Truth and transparency that is all too often disguised by so much money that runs from Wall Street to Washington, and the American public are pissed off, and I'm here to provide them revealing exposés to pull back that blanket and reveal what really has happened. FINRA is Wall Street's self-regulatory organization, which, in short, Wall Street ultimately answers to nobody but itself. FINRA is loaded with conflicts of interest, the biggest one being that it's funded by the very banks that it's charged with regulating, while its mandate is to protect in investors. How does it do that? So is FINRA truly regulating Wall Street? Absolutely not. All too much evidence indicates that FINRA truly operates as little more than meter maids, while the American public is looking for meaningful investor protection. The simple fact is, Wall Street owns Washington. And we need to have a financial regulatory review board that is staffed by private citizens sitting between these two, the politicians and the regulators, to bring meaningful transparency on behalf of the American public.